as as we're aware, at the moment, Adelaide's enjoying a fan fa fantastic festival season uh, with WOMAD, with the Fringe, multiple events, with Adelaide Cup, and a number of people taking advantage of travelling all over the state. With these events, um, we're asking people to stay highly vigilant in this heat, to make sure they prehydrate, and to make sure they keep a very close eye on each other, friends, family, particularly the vulnerable. And if they are planning on travelling around the state, to take that extra water, to make sure people are aware of where they're, uh, where they're travelling to in their arrival times that they're anticipated being there. With the large events that we've got going, stay hydrated. Uh, we're also aware that during these periods of time, we do have challenges with trees. Uh, with the amount of time that we've had with, uh, with the dry weather, we do see an increase in, in trees uh, dropping limbs and causing issues in those areas. And we do ask people to stay vigilant and to make sure that uh, where possible, staying uh, safe under man-made, person-made structures and to make sure that uh, they're staying out of the heat. In regard to the beaches, rivers and local areas like that, enjoy the water, enjoy the weather, but please do make sure that you're swimming between the flags, making sure that you're uh, acting responsibly on our waterways and again looking after each other. Regarding the... Uh, the broader, broader heat arrangements, we want to make sure that when people are getting hot, particularly over the night periods, consider sleeping in the coolest part of the house. Making sure the air conditioners are actually turned on. This isn't the time, even in the cost of living crisis, to scrimp and save on electricity. Now is the time for you to turn your air conditioner on. Make sure that you're living in a comfortable environment. This will particularly uh, be very important to make sure that you're, you're not overheating. In regard to our pets, we also need to be mindful to make sure that they're, they're kept safe and well over this period of time. Keep them in the shade. Make sure there's iced water available for them and, uh, and don't over-exercise them. One of the areas that uh, we'd like to touch on is with a lot of the festivals and the bat population in and around the Adelaide metropolitan area at the moment, uh, there is a propensity for, for bats um, to be injured and or die in this sort of heat. And we ask people if they do see an injured or a, or a deceased bat, do not touch it. Step away if you're at one of the major festivals, please contact the event staff and, uh, and they will have some mechanisms to be able to support uh, in, in disposing or, uh, or in those particular areas. We ask people to have a look at the State Emergency Service website. On there you'll find a whole lot of uh, very direct information but also how to cope in these heatwave events, both personally, for your pets, what to keep an eye out for, but it is really a, a period of time we want people to maintain their hydration, to be extra vigilant in and around the heat, plan their day, plan to stay out of the heat of the day and to look after each other.